African countries to intervene in his country's election deadlock. Mugabe's government has delayed a partial recount of votes in last month's elections, with still no winner official. Shangarai's party, the MDC, says ten of its members have been killed and hundreds arrested in a post-election crackdown. Jacob Zuma, the president of South Africa's ANC, says the delay in the release of election results is unacceptable. The, the leaders in Africa, I think, should really move in uh, to unlock this logjam. The U.S., meanwhile, is asking China to withdraw a shipment of weapons destined for Zimbabwe. A Chinese vessel reported to be carrying 3 million rounds of ammunition and 1,500 rocket-propelled grenades has been held up following international pressure. Zimbabwe defends its right to arms. It is our sovereign right to defend ourselves. It is our sovereign right to buy arms from any legitimate sources. China, while saying the arms sale is a normal part of bilateral trade, is considering bringing the shipment back home. 300,000 people may have died in the five-year conflict in Darfur. That's according to a UN official. John Holmes, the Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, suggested the dramatic increase at his Security Council meeting. 200,000 people until now are thought to have died in the fighting in the Western Sudanese region, which has been described as a genocide. Well, more now from the UN and in New York and our correspondent there, Philippe Balopion, who explained just how the uh, Sudanese government has responded to this new figure. The UN ambassador from Sudan uh, told that uh, John Holmes, the, the, the UN uh, uh, humanitarian coordinator, was uh, dramatizing the situation, that uh, his numbers were not professionals, uh, that they, they were not credible. According to him, only 10,000 people have died in Darfur. Now, they don't count the same death, if I can say it uh, like that. Uh, the UN is also counting indirect deaths in Darfur, meaning people who died from uh, disease that are linked to the, the, the conflict, and uh, people dying from from uh, violence are actually the, the small minority in these uh, uh, 300,000 figures. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, difficult to know what the, the real numbers are. They, they are, they are vi varying uh, dramatically from the different sources. But one of the, the best institutes, uh, uh, the CRED in Belgium, uh, is estimating that the, the right number is probably more around 200,000 deaths uh, since the beginning of the, the conflict. Philippe Belopion in New York. Believe it or not, Australia has just got bigger by 2.5 million square metres. You can't see all that extra land, though, unless you have a snorkel. Yes, the scramble for the seabed and all its resources is gathering pace, and France could be one of the big winners. Australia, the world's largest island, has just...